guys morning to one and all today is going to be a little bit different so today i want to talk go back and talk about my washing machine now some of you know i have it a lot of you know i have it and some of you don't know i've got it <laughs> some of you are convinced and some of you are still not convinced of this now i'm going to be just doing a little kind of a review i don't do reviews this is just my take on this washing machine how i've how i've experienced it how long have i had it now three maybe four weeks so i thought it's time for a proper update so i want to give a proper update on this baby first of all let me stand up and show you show you the machine basically today i want to show you my full setup how i use this and how i'm getting on with it basically so this is where i've been keeping it at the moment now that wasn't the plan <laughs> but this is where i'm keeping it at the moment the plan was to have it outside in the awning and um sort of go from there if i take you outside because I even found out the other day, some of you don't even know I live in a van. So there you go. So I'll quickly just show you our van. Yes, we've been living in the motorhome for, I think it's five years now. There's our little baby. Coming up five years in October or November, I can't remember now. So this is where I was planning to have it, in the awning. So this is our seating area over here over there now <laughs> so we've got the bench there because we've had friends but over there then we don't i mean although we're going to make room for bits and pieces it's the draining you can't then my tubes on it isn't long enough to then go all the way over to here, here to the waste tank as you can see down there in the floor so that wasn't an option the option where i've got it is probably where it's going to be and my waste water on the van literally goes straight into the pipe into the ground so i've got no worries of ever the waste tank ever fill it filling up so yeah this is my little baby <laughs> and i absolutely love it it's a dream so here we go this is what it is you've got your washer in there and you've got your spinner in there i'm going to tell you a few little facts actually i will tell you oh it's like a bit of sand there <laughs> Now, one little tip, always wash out your drums after use because you can probably end up getting bad odours as somebody had left in the comments. So when I got this machine, I got it off Amazon and I was able to apply a 5% voucher. So that brought it down to, I think it was 159 99 or something I ended up paying. At the moment though, it is actually 179.99, I think it is. But you can then add a uh, tick the 10% box as well. So that should bring it probably down to maybe the same price I paid for it. I don't know. I'm not very good with my maths. <laughs> right. So let's just run through quick little statistics on this. So it is the Gizmos. It's a TG910. So it's the new model. It's a twin tub washing machine. Oh, I was so surprised at how many people was like, oh, I've got one of those. Oh, I used to have one of those. Oh, I was brought up with one of those. I was really shocked. And it made me realize when I initially got that and receiving all these comments, it made me think, why hadn't I done it all this time? Why didn't I bite the bullet and get, get this? If I'd be quite honest, I didn't really know it existed so there you go <laughs> right so this is the latest version um it has a 3.6 kilogram uh, load wash and a two kilogram spin so when you are doing your washing you're only going to get a certain amount out of that on the spin basically you'll have to probably spin the, the one load of washing on two spins it's compact and lightweight it's brilliant for um, such as camping and in a caravan as it does not require no plumbing it's all gravity drain away and only only requires access to water and a drain area uh, the washing spin timer so let me take you down to there the washing spin timer now the wash timer is actually 15 minutes 
and you've got a spin timer for five minutes. Five minutes is plenty on that. Sometimes I only ever do the three. Uh, you've, got, uh, you've got a soft option. I've never had it on the soft option, if I'm honest. I suppose that's if you're doing delicates and stuff. And I always just keep it on standard. And then you've got your drain when you're wanting to actually empty your main drum. And when you're emptying your... When you pull it on a spinner as well, that's actually going to drain away as well. So I'm going to tell you how I do my setup here. So you do actually get two tubes. You get booklets. What else did you get? And you get that. I'm not really sure. Really, I think that's just where you can put some, uh, like your delicates in there or something. Now, this is the only tube I use. Um, oh no, I don't. Where do I use this one again? Yes, that's it. <laughs> right. So you've got a main one on the back here as well. So that's going to be your drain away one. Now, what I do with that is I will place that down there in the shower. Now, when I used to, I'm, I'm, this is a learning curve. I used to drain that and put that on a spin, which meant they were both draining and it could have sometimes overflowed. But it doesn't do that now. Uh, that's only because my shower tray is slow at draining or sometimes I hook it up onto there I'll just show you that so as long as you've got access for this this is permanently fixed to the bottom of your machine down there look it's quite a long hose although it's stuck at the minute <laughs> was it stuck on oh it's stuck but anyway I what is it stuck on there we go there we go, so it can then drain down into there. Now the way I fill it, it's a strange way <laughs> because for the fact that I don't have proper taps. Now what I will do is put that on there. As you can see, it's got sticky tape still on there. What I do is just, it's only a little bit to hang on to, but you're probably gonna have different taps uh, wherever you are. And then you'll stick this into there. And then that's how you're going to actually fill it. So that's how you're filling your water. So I'm going to be doing that. But what I have to do with this is wrap it with tape. So the reason I have to do that really basically, I mean, I'm sure you might be able to get different fixings and stuff like that. But the reason I have to do it is because that will just slip off. There's not enough grip on my tap to do so. So I do that anyway, I'll tape that on because I'm going to actually do a small load today. We'll just wrap that round and it all comes off fine. It doesn't make the place, it doesn't make a mess or anything like that. Right, there we go, let me just cut that. Right, there we go, so that's on there nice and tight. Now if you don't do this tight, which I had noticed as well, this was my fault. It was dribbling down here and then puddling around here. But I, I'm on to that one now. I've clocked on to that one. <laughs> so that doesn't happen anymore either. Uh, believe it or not, I've actually done quite a lot of washing in this now. What have I learned from it? There's several things I've learned. So this is quite important, actually. Um, when you're doing a load of washing, make sure you're not washing for the 5,000 that day. There was one particular day I did eight loads of washing and um, <clears throat> I couldn't get around to doing the nine because basically the machine itself had to cool down. This is your actual washing machine and it had to cool down. And I I hadn't noticed it ever do that on the washing machine side of it ever before, but I had noticed it do it on the spinner. You know, if you ever have your over use of the spin. So, you know, you can get away with mm, quite a good few amounts of washing, but just bear in mind, it's not for heavy duty use, you know? This is for like daily sort of things, just keeping on top of your washing, basically. So I've learned that. Another thing I've learned, don't overload it either. Don't overload it, but just be gentle. You know, you've got all day, don't overload it. And because you're only now going to be doing a couple of loads of washing, you know, just don't overload it. And never open this, never open that when the spinner is on because you can burn out the, um, I want to say, oh, motor, that's what I was going to say, engine. You can easily burn out the motor on that. 
Right, so going back to the day that I had actually done the eight loads washi. So let's just put that into perspective, yeah? So one load of washing on this, you know, the capability of it. I mean, you can turn it on and re you pull it on as many times as you want on the same washing. So I'd actually done... Um, where it's just a 15 minute a cycle, but I'd actually done minimum of 30 minutes for about six of those loads. So you've got to bear in mind now that's 12 loads, let's say now, if you want to put it in perspective to what this is meant to be done. And then a couple of those loads I had even left on for an hour. I kept just turning the clock on, you know? So that's bringing that up to maybe sort of like 17, 18 loads of washing technically if you want to see it like that that's what I'd done that day so it was no um, no surprise really that this needed cooling down but it was absolutely fine again in the morning which as this is as well if that does the same and yeah and also with this if you don't put your clothes in properly Put your clothes in and then push this down on top of your clothes. Um, it's going to be unbalanced. And that's not good either because then it, it won't come out totally, totally dry. Um, what you can do then is on your next, like turn it off and take a couple of bits out. And when it does spin, it comes out amazingly dry. So, so far, I think you can tell I'm still in love with this machine. So let's just go down to the energy side of things. So I don't really know what that means. It's a 3.6 kilogram um, load. It's a 36 litre water capacity. Um, so in my eyes, I'm not sure, but I think that's energy efficient. And actually I had a lovely message left on one of my last videos. Let me try and find that and show you what it said. So this was from Millie's Mushroom. Don't want to be a negative Nelly. Don't you know? Of course you know. And put a dampener on your washing machine. But every time I see the water draining over your shower tray, being splashed all over your carpet, I cringe. Well, that doesn't actually happen. I know it looks like it's going to happen, but it doesn't actually happen. Can't you do the washing outside or in the awning? So I feel like I've just explained that, although that was the plan. Um, I'm just trying today, today to show you my setup, what suits me, um, because obviously I've got the water to hand there and then the draining facility there, you see. Um, what else has she said? Yeah, she's just talking about basically she knows how much damage the, the wet floors can be in caravans, etc. So that's not... So I feel like I've answered that one, but that's not actually the one um that i wanted to answer somebody had left a very good comment on this um i'm going to find it uh there's another quick comment here it seems like Mazzy, you're overloading the washing machine ever since you've got it try smaller loads and give it time between loads yes that's absolutely um absolutely true so i totally agree on that one well it is a learning curve you know you get this new washing machine you've got this massive pile of washing and you're thinking yeah let's just keep washing all day right well i can't technically um find the message i was trying to find and it was such a good one he put all the statistics in there and everything he it was an amazing message i can't remember where it is now though i'm sorry if i will try and keep looking right so let's go back to my setup so we have i've got the hot water on um this is going to be filling that up i don't need that at the moment so let's shut that uh oh i need my plug so this is where i keep all my but uh, menagerie, it's just easier to pull it out of the boot and to um, have everything in one sort of space. So I keep that in there. I keep the brown tape, although I used uh, this one today. Um, these are my scented beads. <laughs> now, every time I kept taking the lid off the tube, they were going all over the floor, which is a nightmare. You all probably know what I'm talking about. So I've ended up putting them in a bag now. Um got me washing tablets in there I've got, even got tumble sheets in there 
not that I need them at the moment and my oxy powder and what else should be in there is this needs to stay in there as well right so let's get all this plugged in so the only two plugs we technically have in the house is these ones there and they're always in use like at the moment now I've got um, a power bank to put on charge so I never plug it into that one they're always in use so I always take it up to my bathroom, excuse the mess, I always take it up to my bathroom cupboard and plug it into that one. There we go. And then I have started doing this. <laughs> I didn't initially because I was so excited, but make sure your plug is off the floor just in case there is any leakages going down there and it might go onto your plug, obviously. So all I do then is bring my washing in, find me bag. Usually I've got a lot more than that. And actually I didn't even know I had that amount. Um, yeah, let's plug this in and get a load of washing together. So the lead, this is quite important. People might want to know. It's quite a long lead. I'm going to say maybe two meters long so it gives you a bit of you know so you know roughly where you can plug it in and that and it also then wraps around these little hooks down there when you're tidying and packing it away and stuff like that let's plug that in there right i'm just gonna do i think i'm gonna be doing lights to start with but first of all let's fill this up so everything's okay it looks disastrous but it's not when I'm washing, nobody really tends to sort of come in and out of there anyway. All right, let's turn the water on. I don't know how hot it's going to be, but for my first load, I always like to try and get a hot, um, do a hot load. So there we go. That don't seem to be link, uh, leaking. <laughs> and it goes directly straight into there, as you can see. Now that water looks dirty. Now that's obviously been sitting at the bottom. So do you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to turn this off. And I'm actually now going to drain that. Where's my drain? Alright, let's put that on drain because I really don't want dirty smelly water going into me washing today. <laughs> There we go. So it, it literally can suck out a, a good amount. So that's good. But that's why I say always clean afterwards. And I always clean the shower tray after me as well. Because if that stale water is at the bottom of that, that's going to soon get smelly. Especially if you don't use it that often. All right, that should be done. Let's get back to filling this up. Right, so at this point it hasn't leaked <laughs> it's nearly to the top you don't have to go to the top but I like to go to the top which is there so not long left and it's actually taken me let me just check the time five minutes it's actually taken me five minutes to fill this so far now there are, is other ways you can fill this anyway it doesn't have to be on this setup a connected to a tap if you haven't even got a tap nearby where you want to keep this you can literally when i bought this if i'm honest i bought this knowing i will probably be filling up with buckets of water that's how i knew i was going to be filling this but luckily enough it's worked out really well so bonus now there is uh, several ways of also rinsing your clothes and also yep yeah, you can even fill it up with just a hose if you've got a hose available you know if you don't mind cold water right so we're nearly actually there now which would have taken five or six six minutes at the moment practically there just going to give it one more minute right i'd say that's that so let's turn that off yep that's lovely and hot 
Now, I'd also had somebody say to me, yeah, but surely now that you're you know your um tablets basically aren't going to dissolve in there which actually they do they honestly really do dissolve in there but if you're that sort of bothered and you don't want to double check that they are just stick it on quick look and it will do that do that before you put your clothes in look how good that is oh it smells lovely as well nice and clean Last but not least, I hadn't showed you, is I got a basket from Tesco's. Now, this is actually collapsible, which was amazing. I actually got that on a good deal. I think they were about 16 quid originally. But I got that for £9.64 or something like that. Still not convinced it, are you? Some of you ain't. I know you ain't. You're probably thinking, yeah, but I bet your clothes come out horrible. I bet it don't really wash properly. I'm going to be 100% honest. This is no way a paid review. I paid for this machine. Um, I don't owe anybody anything on this machine. Um, my clothes have actually been coming out of this spectacular. Like my bedding, etc. Is I always have white bedding. Practically always have white bedding. All my whites come out amazing. They come out all lovely and fresh and clean. And a talking of money also, because I... I don't live on campsite. I oh sorry, <laughs> but we live in our fan. Um, so doing washing can be very expensive. Now, if we was to go down and do a load of washing and a tumble dryer here on campsite, um, it would be getting on for like nine quid, ten quid, eight between sort of nine quid basically i'm not really sure now i can't remember the last time i did it so i'm saving a tenner basically every time i do a wash here and dry out there so yep let's get some whites on and then you're thinking yeah but you're going to be spending money in the winter because you're going to how are you going to dry your clothes i've got that figured out don't you worry <laughs> right so i'm going to get some dirty whites on the go these are my jeans They've got all sort of grubby marks all over them. Uh, got some socks. These were brand new on yesterday. <laughs> There's one of them, look. Got covered in sand. Brand new on they were. And I also wore this yesterday. Now, I know it's pink, but I know it ain't going to run. But that's also got makeup around the edges. Now, I'm not going to pre-treat those. I, I'm just going to stick them all in like the way it is and show you how this lot will come out. Let's bring you down. Let's get this load of washing on the go. Got a nice weather today. It's not going to last very long. So like I said, there is one thing I need to learn as well. Don't overload. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put this in. That's Dan's shirt. That was quite grotty, look. See around the collar there, look. There we go. Stick that in. There's me makeup -y top again. Like I said, I'm not going to pre-treat those. Let's just stick those in. But I will find the other sock and stick that in. I think I'll leave it about that. Oh, there we go. There's the two dirty socks. Now, the only other light colour I've got is this. So I might see if that's going to be all right in there. That should be all right in there. And I've stuck one pair of Nickies in there. Right, there we go. Let's turn this on. So there's no splishing or splashing of water. So you can always lift this one to check on it. Your minimum wash is going to be 15 on the clock. But, you know, when you have a proper machine, they always have a minimum of 30 minutes anyway. So I always do a minimum of 30. But on my whites, I wouldn't. I would probably do that for 45 minutes. So we'll give that one a go. So that's all I've got to wash today now. Apart from this little load, what's in here? Just some sort of like little bits. Got a woolly jumper and some little bits. So yeah, I should be able to get those done today. Let's have a bit of a tidy up.
right, so let's just quickly talk about the noise. Well, you can hear for yourself. I mean, it's hardly loud at all. It's quite a soothing noise. Whether the mic is actually picking it up and making it sound louder, I'm not sure because it is a 360 mic. There, and this doesn't rattle all over the floor either. You know, when your washing machine goes mad like that on the floor, it doesn't do that. So that's got 12 minutes left. I'm going to leave that. Take her outside so you can hear what's going on from outside as well, just in case you're worried about your neighbours. Gorgeous day. Can you hear it? I can hardly hear it. There we go. So I just wanted to show you that it doesn't buzz or anything. It literally just turns off so it doesn't alert you. Right, now here comes the rinsing and spinning part. So first of all, I'm going to drain this. Let's drain this. It's quite dirty water now. I actually did this washing for 45 minutes, so I gave it three cycles. Now I will move this mat, but apart from that, it doesn't technically overflow, unless if I'm doing the both. <laughs> So this is why you definitely need an outlet for your wastewater. Right, so let's, while that's doing that, let's talk about rinsing. So there's many ways, people do it different ways. You can then drain all this out, fill it up again with fresh water, or put it into this, attach then now your water hose onto this one, although you do get a separate hose for that, although I don't use it. <clears throat> I always just swap it from one to another and you can put the water in but a new trick I've been finding now I've been bringing the hose in it is so much easier and quicker see although it looks like it's going to overflow it doesn't but it's still coming out there we go it's nearly done that's the only reason I push this little mat in now and it's only because we've got a slow drain, um, a slow drain. There we go, so that's all drained. See, it never overflowed. <laughs> right, let's put this into here. So I'm not gonna put it all in. Like I've said, you need it to not be uh, sort of unbalanced, you know. And there we go, let's put some of that in there like that. That should be enough let's turn this on there we go <laughs> how good is that don't get me wrong if you don't get it balanced it can go all over the shop yeah well not really it doesn't sort of move as such but yeah it's better to have it balanced then you're going to get all like the water draining out of there now oh i forgot to I forgot to rinse it. <laughs> right, so this is what I do to rinse it. Just put untold cold water into this and I'll do it and do it and do it until I, until I feel it's clean through. Right, I've been doing it for some time now and look, the water is actually running clear out of the pipe. I've been doing it for quite some time. So I'll leave it as that. Just put that there for a minute. Always remember to put that on and shut that properly. Never open that when it's on a spin. <laughs> there we go. Right, here we go so it's about to finish there we go just let it settle for a minute there we go and this that's practically bone dry that is practically bone dry yep it's an amazing spin on this one and second load a spun look at that all done Look how clean these socks came out. It's not bad. 
Right, let's get those hung up on the line. I'll show you how I hang these on my line. And this is my lying setup. It's not the best, this. I probably will get a new one, maybe come next summer now. And that's my little peg bag. Right, I'll just go and get all this hung up and put a second load on. There we go, so that's all my washing. These have come out lovely. Tea towels come out lovely. The neck on that has come out lovely. Oh, good job. Let's have a look at Dan's. Oh, lovely. So this video is going on a little bit now, isn't it? So what I'm gonna do is, for my next load, I've got clean water in there. I'm actually going to shove my cardigan in. So I'm gonna do my cleans first, and if the water's any good afterwards, then I will actually reuse this to just wash these couple of bits and pieces there. And that's it, that's it for the whole day then. All right, let's turn this on. So what do I think of it? Well, what do you think of it by now? If you've got any more questions, pull it down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them. I worked out you can actually buy it, although it says 179.99 on Amazon, but with your 10% as well, if you tick that, you can actually get it for 169. Bargain, so I'm going to leave a link in description anyway if anyone's interested, even if you just want to go over and just check it out a bit more for yourself. But I hope you enjoyed that today, and that's exactly then how I do my washing in the motorhome, living in the motorhome. Right, gonna love you and leave you on this one because it's been quite long. And like I said, if there's anything else you'd like to know about this baby, let me know because I will tell you now if this ever was to break tomorrow. I will definitely be getting a new one and I love it, 100%. Big thumbs up from me. Right, gonna love you and leave ya. See you tomorrow, bye.